Mrs. Sophia Richard has been hospitalized in the medical ward for stage 4 breast cancer, and her doctor has prescribed 2 milligrams of morphine every 3 hours. To avoid repetitive injection, the nurse needs to prepare a subcutaneous winged infusion set to administer regular doses of the opioid pain medication to the user. The nurse goes to the user's bedside to prepare the subcutaneous winged infusion set. The tubing was previously primed with the medication to make sure the user receives the exact dose prescribed. The nurse performs hand hygiene as she enters the user's room, in compliance with infection prevention best practice. Hello, my name is Rosie Bianco and I'm a nurse. I'm going to administer your pain medication. I'll install your catheter that will stay in place so that we can administer other doses when you need. All right. Can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? My name is Sophia Richard, and I was born on April 26, 1970. Perfect. I'll check your bracelet. That's it. The nurse must ask for the user's full name and date of birth and double check with the user's bracelet. This is done to reduce the risk of error. The nurse selects an insertion site where the subcutaneous tissue is free of injuries, indurations, and swelling. All subcutaneous insertion sites can be used. She needs to avoid sites that could hamper the user's movements or harm her, as well as bone protrusions. The best sites are the left anterior thoracic region with the needle pointing towards the nipple, the supra and sub-abdominal areas with the needle pointing towards the navel, an arm with the needle pointing towards the neck, or a thigh with the needle pointing towards the upper body. The nurse prepares the material and puts on non-sterile gloves. The gloves protect the nurse from the user's biological fluids and potential transmission of pathogens. If necessary, the nurse can cut the hairs around the insertion area with scissors or an electric razor for better adherence to the transparent film. The nurse disinfects the site with chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol swabs, rubbing in a spiral from the center of the arm towards the outer edges of a five centimeter circle. She lets the solution dry for at least 30 seconds to allow the antiseptic to take effect and thus avoid a burning sensation when inserting the catheter. With her non-dominant hand, the nurse pinches a fairly wide area to create a skin fold of about 2.5 centimeters wide if possible. It's going to sting a little. Take a deep breath now. The nurse removes the cap from the infusion needle and holds the infusion needle with the wings folded upwards. In the case of a flexible catheter, the nurse inserts the needle at a 30 to 45 degree angle, depending on the thickness of the subcutaneous tissue at the base of the skin fold. If using a needle type infuser, the insertion angle should be 10 to 20 degrees with the bevel facing down for best medication delivery. The nurse releases the skin fold and lets the wings rest on the skin once the needle has been inserted. The nurse holds the wings in place with her non-dominant hand and removes the needle with a continuous movement. She places the needle in the biohazard waste container. She then covers the insertion site with a transparent film. The transparent film secures the catheter in place protects the insertion site, and allows visual contact for inspections. The nurse disinfects the intermittent catheter insertion site. She adjoins the medication syringe and creates a light suction with the syringe to assess the position of the catheter. If blood appears in the catheter or the user experiences sharp pain at the insertion site, there might be a little burning. Okay. 
the nurse must immediately remove the catheter and repeat the procedure at a different site. The nurse removes her gloves and disposes of them. She writes the medication name and concentration, along with the date and time of the insertion on a piece of tape and applies her initials. This is a necessary step to ensure the medication is always administered in the same manner. I'll come back to see you in 30 minutes to see if you still feel pain. All right, thank you.